Hey everyone, it's Connor from Coifin here. Today, I want to highlight one of our latest features, which is the multiplier transformation. This new feature will allow you to multiply and divide hundreds of data series, and it will open up a lot of use cases, such as the ability to plot constant valuation multiples over a time period. That particular use case is found in the famous Peter Lynch charts. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the multiplier and demonstrate a few use cases. Starting here with Lululemon, I've plotted the historical chart line over a five-year period. So let's use this as an example to illustrate what the multiplier does. Imagine in this scenario that I want to know the Lululemon price to earnings on a forward basis. I'll type in PE here and select next 12 months. That's going to open up in a panel here, and we can see that it trades at about 20.5 times forward earnings down from a peak of around 82 back in September of 2020. I'm interested to know what would the price of Lululemon have been historically if it traded at a constant 20 times multiple. So just remember that it trades at 20.5, we'll hide this for now, and I'll show you how we can create that. So going back to the data series, I'm gonna take EPS, normalized consensus average, and I'm gonna plot that over a next 12 month basis. So this is the underlying data, 2PE, and all I'm gonna do here is go to the gear indicator settings. I'm gonna transform this data, and I'm gonna select the multiplier. When you do that, it's gonna open up another text box here, which allows you to enter a number below or above one. I'm gonna pick 20.5 here. In doing so, we've multiplied the EPS consensus average over a next 12 month basis by the current multiple. And we can see that aside from a little bit of rounding, we're basically at the price that Lululemon is at today, give or take 10 cents. Now, if I want to merge these two panels like this, using the legend button, I can now plot over a period of time what Lululemon would have traded at at that multiple. So we can see that over the last 10 years, it's been very rare that Lululemon actually reaches that price point. And we've not really seen the current share price touch that line since about 2017. In the last few weeks or so, it has crossed that 20.5 line up here. Now what we can do to plot several lines is take that same data series again from the data picker forward consensus average for EPS. We can then multiply that by a few different ranges. So let's take the multiplier here and let's take a constant 30 times multiple and let's do that one more time and let's take a constant 25x multiple as well. So we'll put 25 in here. I'll now make a few aesthetic modifications such as thickening these lines. Once I've done that, this is what it looks like. So we can see here's the range. We can see how the relationship between Lululemon's share price and its multiple has behaved over time. If we wanted to, we could also take the price to earnings and overlay that on our existing chart. It might get a little bit messy just because these are dollar figures and this is a multiple but perhaps we could change that to an area chart just to kind of give it some more context and make it a light gray. So we can overlay it like that. So now what we can see are those constant bands. We can see the share price and we can see the multiple overlaid as well. In a moment, I'm gonna show you how to create a template so you can view hundreds of charts like this at once. But for now, let's jump back to a plain old Lululemon chart just to show you that you can do this with other data series. So if we were interested in the price to sales, for example, on a trailing basis, we can see that Lululemon trades at about 3.8 times sales. So let's remember that. And we can take something like revenue per share. We can take that on a trailing basis. And if we want to see what that looks like, we can multiply it, take the 3.8 that Lululemon, Lululemon currently trades at, and we can push that up into the panel here. In the same way that we did last time, I'm gonna take revenue per share a couple of more times and then add some more variations. And once again, what we've shown is Lululemon share price. And then we have bands here for a 6x price to sales multiple, a 5x and a 3.8 where it currently trades. We can see over the last decade, it's very rarely traded in this 3.8% range. The last time it did so was back between the 2015 to 2018 period. You could argue that now Lululemon is probably worth closer to that 3 to 4x range, but that's something for you to decide as the analyst. This gives you the tools and the visualization to make that analysis. Now you can multiply an array of data series if you wanted free cash flow per share, for example. Search for that in the data series, take the last 12 months version of that, and then you can multiply this as well. You can also do this for gross profit per share as well. 
where you can take the trailing basis, you can multiply that. And this coincides with price to gross profit. So you can pull that up. You can see what the current multiple is, 6.5. You can come into gross profit per share. You can multiply that by 6.5 and a bunch of other ranges. And then you could overlay that onto the chart and see where Lululemon has historically traded in relation to that multiple. Now, this is just one use case, plotting constant multiples. I'm sure that Coifin users will find some ingenious ways and some creative ones too of using these multipliers. Because technically you can multiply things like share price as well. You didn't want to set too many limitations on what you can do there. Now, coming back to this chart that we shared with the constant PE multiples on a forward basis for Lululemon, I want to show you how you can view this kind of chart for hundreds of stocks at once. The first thing we're going to do is cement this into our Coifin terminal by saving it as a chart template. We're going to call this constant PE and we'll come back to this in just a second. So we've saved this. So the next thing we're going to do is come into analytics here and I'm going to pull up the lots of charts feature. Now lots of charts is great because it allows you to view a basket of companies all with the same kind of view. Right now I've got this set up to show the S&P 500. Alternatively, you can take holdings from an ETF or an index. And you can also use your own baskets of companies found in the watch list. For now, I'm just going to keep it on the S&P 500. And what we're going to do here is change this to a three-year view. And we're going to go to options and then scroll down to find our chart template, which is here. And now we have that view of the constant PE multiple bands on the security price for a bunch of different securities. And I can toggle through these by using the arrow keys on my keyboard, or alternatively, I can click the buttons at the bottom of the screen. This is a great feature to use for any chart template, but for these PE bands and the multiplier feature, it's a great one. So that does it for this video. I hope that provides you with some inspiration as to how you might use this new feature. I'd be interested in hearing how you plan to use it in the comments below, so please reach out. You can also hit us up on Twitter at Quiffin Charts, and our help desk is help at as well. Until next time, thank you.